Hi. Um, this is a song by the inimitable, uh, inimitable uh, Jake Thackeray, uh, and it's called Isabel Makes Love Upon National Monument. Like this. <laughs> Isabel makes love upon national monuments with style and enthusiasm, and anyone at all. Isabel's done Stonehenge and Houses of Parliament, but so far, little Isabel's never played the Albert Hall. Many a monolith. A seen Isabel, a bright hair in turmoil, a breast surging swell. But unhappy Albert, so far denied, the bright sight of Isabel getting into her stride. The fourth bridge the Cenotaph, Balmoral and Wembley, the British Museum and the House of Lords. So many ticks in her National Trust catalogue, but so far the Royal Albert Hall has not scored. Countless cathedrals can now proudly show where Isabel's white shoulder blades are briefly reposed. But miserable Albert's still waiting for the imprint of Isabel on his parquet floor. In Westminster Abbey, she lay upon a cold tombstone, the meat in a sandwich of monumental love. With old pole-faced Wordsworth unblinking beneath her, and a bright-eyed young archdeacon breathless above, many a stony-faced statue has flickered its eyes and swayed to the rhythm of her little panting cries. But oh, wretched Albert, never yet has known. Isabel's pretty whinnying echo round his dome. On the last night of the promenade, she waved to the conductor, and there and then on the podium, with scarcely a pause, with a smile and a bow and a loud roar, Britannia! He completed her collection to enormous applause. Rapturous Albert now knows full well he's captured forever the elusive Isabel. Brittle dishevelled, but firmly installed and faithful forevermore to the Royal Albert Hall. No more. Frantic scramblings up the dome of St. Paul's. No more dark rambles on Hadrian's wall. With style and enthusiasm and anyone at all. Isabel makes love in the Royal Albert Hall.